morning guys um, just walking to work about quarter to seven pretty dark um, thought I'd do a quick video about mead making so uh, put together some mead about three or four weeks ago it's been uh, fermenting nicely so what I was going to do is uh, later on just show you what it all looks like and um, give you a rundown of what I used and um, how I put it yeah what I used how I put it together um, should be ready in another three to four weeks time so um, that's all for now just about to reach work it takes me about eight minutes to walk to work so uh, nearly here all right speak to you later guys hey up guys all right I'm a bit a little bit more awake than uh, than before so I'm going to uh, just take you through how I made the mead and show you what I used um, and the method uh, for making it. So uh, this is the first time I've looked at it in three, two, two to three weeks I think I made it. Um, so it's the first time I've looked at it. it it's looking good. Um, still fermenting, so that's good. Still producing alcohol, which is what we want. Um, so yeah, I'll I'll spin you around and uh, so you can have a look. It will clear three to four weeks. It, it should clear nicely. Um, so in there is um, one chopped orange, a handful of fair uh, sultanas, um, four jars of honey. You can use normal honey or you can use local honey so straight from the beekeeper the better the honey the better the mead's going to turn out so um, you know it's up to you I've spent a few quid on it I think it was £4.50 a jar which is quite expensive but hopefully this is going to turn out lovely um, so yeah four jars of honey this is a gallon demijohn an orange handful of satanas and the yeast I used was uh, bread yeast which I'll show you in a minute I don't know where it is um, just regular bread yeast as uh, that's traditionally what they used to use um, and that's it really so basically I, I put all the honey into pan like that, that's not honey and oats, lentil dal, we're having curry tonight, so we've got lamb curry, lamb and potato curry, vegetable curry, uh, lentil dal, um, so yeah, so I put four jars of honey into a pan like that, some water, um, just so it, it, it's a little bit more liquidy, um, easier to get in the damage on, um, and then added water, the orange, sultanas, doesn't matter um, how you put it together, just chuck it all in, literally chuck it all in, chuck the yeast on top, don't make the, the whole thing too hot, just make it sort of room temperature, chuck the yeast in, give it a bit of a swirl and leave it. <clears throat> um, eventually you will get a load of sediment, once it's uh, once it's fermented fully, you'll get a load of sediment. Um, what I will do is probably um, probably transfer the liquid from there into another demijohn, and then do a secondary ferment and just leave it. As you can see here, it's uh, bubbling away nicely. That means it's fermenting. Uh, and that's it. Just chuck it all together and um, 
Let's see what the app. Okay, guys, I uh, found a yeast. So it's basically just um, the cooperative instant dried yeast for bread. Comes in little packets like that. I've used about a teaspoon, I think it was, a heaped teaspoon of it. Uh, and that'll be plenty for a gallon of mead. So I'll keep you updated.